This is Bower House in Essex. It's the UK home of the Ford Marketing Institute and the training centre for Ford sales personnel nationwide. It's also the scene today for a novel television experiment in product learning, specifically timed to coincide with the launch of the exciting new Fiesta. Very early this cold, foggy morning, a gallant band of salespeople arrived here at Bower House from all over the country. They are, in fact, all Plan Masters District finalists. Once they'd arrived and settled down and were given some coffee, they were also given an advanced proof copy of the Fiesta product guide and told to get their minds around it just as quickly as they could to get to grips with all the information inside. But our salespeople today haven't come here to listen to a lecture or take part in a quiz. They've come here to try and sell the features of a model in the new Fiesta lineup. Now, if you try and sell something, you need someone to sell it to. You need a customer. The trouble is, if we put a customer into the picture, then we wouldn't really see or hear much of what the salesman was saying, so we wouldn't learn a lot. We need a very special sort of customer. I'd like you to meet a special sort of customer. Come in, John. No, the customer isn't John here, it's what he's holding. This is called a Steadicam mount. It's a remarkable piece of television equipment which gives those amazing pictures that you've seen on a series like The Bill or films like The Shining. The point is that whatever John does, the camera will, will remain reasonably stable. So, John, off you go. As you can see, John's doing the four-minute mile there, and yet the picture that the camera is taking is looking pretty smooth. So, from the salesman's point of view, this could be a very good aid, because he can walk around and show features of the car. He can go right down low, look at low features like this, or easily come up, looking along the side, pointing out whatever he wants, and, of course, the camera can see what he's doing. The only problem is, from the point of view of our participants, it's very much easier selling to a person than it is selling to a lens. Thank you very much indeed, John. So, as I said, this is experimental. Don't look for our participants to be word perfect. They won't be. Look for them to be nervous, too. And ask yourself, how would you feel if you were put in this position? So, we're going to deal with each model in the Fiesta lineup, starting with the Fiesta Popular. Arguably the most difficult one to sell because, of course, the feature level is at its lowest. But on the other hand, the Fiesta Popular is representative of the Fiesta range as a whole. So I suspect that this first presentation will be a little longer than the others. Let's see how they get on. This is the Fiesta Popular. Offered in both three-door and five-door format, she represents the leading model to the all-new Fiesta range. A range that has been improved in just about every department over the outgoing model. Allowing me to start with the engine, we'll run over a few of her new features. The engine is a newly developed one-litre HCS unit which has no moving ignition parts and therefore uh, requires less maintenance and is generally more reliable. The vehicle will run on un unleaded fuel from the word go without any adjustment. All the major servicing items that you'll need to look after yourself are marked in yellow. Seal for life battery is there. You've got your washer fluid here, your oil, your brake fluid and of course your engine coolant. The engine is designed to pull low down in the rev range, thus making it easier to drive and you don't have to change gear as often. The car is extremely fuel efficient and in, represents around about 17% fuel saving uh, efficiency over the last model. As you can see, a fantastic looking little car, nice and smooth, that translates into added fuel efficiency again. She's sleek to look at, but she also cuts through the air nice and sleek. You've got a nice low-line low, low, low bonnet. You can't get the words out of here. Polycarbonate bumpers, wraparound indicators, and flush-fitting lights. You've got your windscreen wipers, which now lower down on the screen. This makes it easier for you to see out because they're not in your way. The roof line, again, is nice and smooth following up from the bonnet. You've got concealed drip trays. So the water will be led away and, of course, again, smooth and aerodynamic. Nice curvaceous rear end, which again 
helps smooth off the airflow, doesn't cut off quite so abruptly, and of course, nice low drag. The boot itself has a nice wrap round hatch which lifts up, and you've got a bigger boot altogether. The spare tire now is no longer under the floor of the boot, but is indeed outside and underneath, and is released with a spanner which lowers the wheel down from a nut on the inside. So you don't have to move all your luggage out should you get a puncture on the motorway on the way home on holiday. The seat, of course, goes down in one, as in the old model. The popular has gained a few extra bits and pieces here and there. Uh, more and most important, I would have thought, would be the heated rear window, which is now standard on all models and not an extra as it was. This particular model has the optional extra of a windscreen wash wipe. The key, by the way, is the high security chub design, similar to the Escorts, Orions and Granadas, and of course uses a different lock mechanism which doesn't freeze in the winter, which is handy if you haven't got a garage. Also, protects your investment, somebody's not going to get into your car, steal your cassette recorder or whatever it is you have in the car. Uh, more importantly, of course, the investment, because the car itself costs a lot of money these days, don't they? A nice wide opening door, capacious inside, Trimmed in med medley fabric, the seats are all new. They've got a pre-molded form, which is backed by this solid plastic shell, which allows the seat to stay comfortable throughout its life. The car will not, the seat rather, will not sag. It will not squeak, and it's going to be as comfortable now uh, as it is in, in 10 years' time as it is now. Gearbox is a four-speed transmission on this model. Um, you'll notice inside as well, the car is so light and airy, you've got more shoulder room, more leg room, uh, more height, so if you've got bushy hair like me, it doesn't get caught in the roof. Also, the seat has improved fore and aft adjustment. Uh, the seat will travel further backwards, so you'll find a tall driver has no difficulty in getting in a comfortable position. The actual dashboard of the car is floodlit from the front, reflecting back onto the instrument panel. So there again, that lights up the instruments and makes them far easier to read. And at night, of course, you need to read them quickly without making mistakes. It means you take your eyes off the road less. Again, going back to the locks, you'll notice now the buttons on the old model have been replaced by a lock which is incorporated in the release inside the door. To lock it, you just push it in and you'll see a little white mark there so you can see that it's locked. Mirror is interior adjustable on the driver's side, which is a new feature, and indeed the mirror is quite a clever little touch because it is designed so that the air will flow around the inside of the dynamically uh, designed shell and it will keep the glass clear of all road dirt, which again is a problem with some of these cars. The glass area, you've got 10% more glass, that gives improved visibility, makes the car far easier to drive in traffic, nice and easy to handle, uh, typical virtues of all the old Fiestas, um, more so, more so there. You've got your controls which are now simplified and allow you to come around, you might be able to see. You've got your stalks which are now all on just two stalks, so you haven't got the complicated uh, or the need to take your hand off for the three switches that used to be up here. You've got all your windscreen wiper functions on the right hand stalk and all your indicators, horn and light functions on the left-hand stalk. Instruments apart from that are fairly similar. You've got the bonnet release, which is nice uh, underneath. You don't have to scurry down into the floor wells as you do in some of our competitors. Uh, the heating controls have been, again, redesigned. They've got, now got a modern slide control, um, which gives improved flexibility of airflow into the car. You've also got four face-level vents uh, which is, of course, over the two that you had in the outgoing model. The wide door also helps people getting into the back. Of course, five-door model is perhaps the thing if you've got a small family, or indeed a big one. Well, Paul, congratulations. I think you've got a lot of information in there. Do you feel you did the car justice? I think I did it as well as I could with such a, a short acquaintance of the vehicle. Um, I'd like to have been a bit more positive and smooth, you know. Uh, with the car in the showroom uh, for a month or so, I think I would uh, lose the rough edges there I got. I uh, made a few mistakes, 
which you shouldn't have done. Uh, drip rails, of course, is not drip trays, <laughs> and uh, missed out on the, the chub key. It's actually a high security key, not right. a chub key. Was there anything in the specification that you should have talked about that you didn't? Yeah, foolishly, I, I should have mentioned the padded head restraints, which, of course, the pop never had before, and it does now, and that's a big thing. I went and sat on the seat and forgot about it. Um, also, the handle inside the tailgate for pulling it down. Stop your hands getting dirty. I should have pulled that up as well. Hello. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this car, the 1989 Fiesta Popular Plus. Great looking little car, isn't it? First, what makes it go? Well, there's three new engines to Fiesta. The 1.8 diesel with a five-speed gearbox, which we've seen in Escort and Orion. An all-new one-litre HCS engine, which produces 45 PS. And an all-new 1100 HCS engine, which produces 55 PS. Both of these two petrol engines feature distributorless ignition systems, which makes for shorter servicing times and therefore cuts down running costs. Another new and interesting and safety feature of the car is the fact that ABS is now available as an option. Now, we haven't seen anti-lock brakes in a car of this size before at all. So there's, you know, very good point to you know, think about there. Automatic transmission also available on the 1.1, but only if you have the three doors. Uh, another point with the petrol engines, they can run on unleaded petrol without any adjustment. So, again, reduction in the cost of fuel there. Let's have a look inside the car. Nice wide opening doors. The first thing you notice about the inside of the car, very comfortable seats. They're moulded seats. They stay comfortable for, well, should be as comfortable in 10 years' time as they are now. Fully adjustable head restraints, another thing that we haven't seen in the Popular Plus before. Sitting at the steering wheel, all the controls come nicely to hand, the control for the tailgate wash right, the indicators, the lights, the horn, everything's in its place. You don't have to take your hands off the wheel. So, again, a safety point there. Twin remote controlled door mirrors. Again, you haven't got to stick your head out of the window in the rain to adjust your door mirrors. And, of course, it makes for easier parking. Glove box has a lid. Keep the valuables nice and safe in there. And down here, we have Ford's electronic security coded digital radio with twin speakers to while away those long journeys. Let's have a look in the back of the car. Five doors. There's a new thing for Fiesta. Nice wide opening doors and Ford have done away with the wheel arch intrusion there so it makes it nice and easy to get in. Another useful point, slots for the rear seat belts so that uh, when the rear seat's folded the seat belts aren't all getting tangled up. Useful feature there. Let's close the door. And the boot, high security locks again. And we can see that the, the tailgate has a tailgate wash wipe and a heater with a rear window for maximum visibility at the back at all times. Inside the boot, we have a carpeted low compartment cover for extra security again so people can't see what you've got in the boot. The boot is half as big again, as almost half as big again anyway, as the outgoing model, and the spare wheel is now located under the boot, so that you haven't got to take all your gear out of the boot in the event of a puncture. So there we are, the new Fiesta Popular Plus. It's available in all 14 colours, including black and metallic. I think it's a great little car that's going to be a great big seller. Roger, you've now seen it played back. Uh, do you think you did the car justice, and was there anything you left out? I think I did, yeah, I did the car justice. There was two or three things I missed out, like um, the fact that the seat belts can be adjusted with a few turns of the spanner, um, up or down a few inches. Mm -hmm. The fuel gauge reads all the time, so that when you get into the car, you haven't got to wait till the fuel gauge to come up so you know how much petrol you've got. Right. And there's a di digital clock on the dash, right in the middle of the dash, which I didn't mention, which is important to a lot of people. Apart from those th three things, I think I covered most things that are available in this car, but not in the popular. This is a new Fiesta L. Comes with an 1100 engine or an 1800 diesel. The 1100 now comes with a 5-speed or a CTX automatic as an option. If you look down here on the side, it comes with body-side mouldings. 
which is ideal when you open your car in the car park, something like that. Comes with silver wheel covers, which overall enhances the whole appearance of the car. In the boot, it now comes with a boot light, which is obviously handy when you're in the dark. You've got your 60 40 split, which makes things so easy if you've got to carry people in the back as well as extra luggage. Right, before I get in, I'd just like to show you the new Madrid trim, which you've probably seen on the Escorts and the Orions. And they've also now actually done it on the door, which I think is a nice feature. If you look inside, it now comes with interval wash wipe, which is um, set. Got your dipping rear view mirror, your passenger sun visor, and also your cigar lighter. This actual model has come through with all the options available on it, which does actually include the radio cassette and the four speakers. You've got your sunroof and your tinted glass. And also, as you probably know, comes with the anti-locking brakes. And this car has actually been finished in a new look magenta paintwork. Well, Paddy, now you've had a chance to see a replay on that, do you think you did the car justice? Um, I think I've got everything in I needed to say. Um, obviously, it's strange, and I think I would have needed a customer in the back to actually show how big he actually is in the back, because I mean, it's got a lot, there's a lot of room there. So, in the showroom, you would have got the customer sitting in the rear, would you? Yeah, I think that's the only way really to show it, I think. Right. Now, what about this intermittent fixed interval? Let's get this wash wipe thing right. Um, it's intermittent. Uh, it's got a, a fixed speed. Right, so that's what one would say. <laughs> yeah, normally. <laughs> okay. Hello, welcome to the new Fiesta LX. That's right, I said the LX. It's a new model. We've slotted it in between the L and the gear. Come this way and let me tell you a wee bit about the car. To begin with, you'll notice we have new body side mouldings with silver inserts at the bottom. It makes the car look a wee bit different. Secondly, we also have new full wheel trims on the car. Again, it enhances the looks of the car. As we come further around the car, to begin with, you'll find we have nice opening doors. Again, nice and wide for all shapes of people that want to go inside the car. We do the variants on the car, three door and five door, with the engine variants being 1.1, 1.4 and also 1.8 diesel. A new, a new thing from Ford is we've also brought out a new 1.4 automatic. Again, something a wee bit different. Secondly, as we come round to the back of the car, get the keys for that. If we open the back here, you'll find that the tailgate opens nice and wide. You see yourself, the luggage space is very, very good. Nice and simple for weekend shopping. It's nice and easy to get goods into the back of the car. As well as that, the most important thing is they've got a new grab handle. You can push it down without getting mucky hands on the back here. And it's nice and simple to close. Nice wee touch. As well as that, you'll find that heated rear window is standard. Tinted glass is standard all round. All door, all window, sorry. Front screen as well, standard with that. As well as we come round to the driver side, you'll find nice new compact interior. We have sunroof, which is standard to the car. That tilts up for all this lovely weather that we have here as well as that, you can pop the sunroof out. Again, a new feature on the LX. As we go into the car, you also find that we have new non-woven velour carpets. Again, nice and hard wearing for all the driving that we tend to do in our new cars. As we pop down into the seat, it's got lovely new fascia on the car. New seating cloth trim as well in Madrid cloth trim with a new special mouldy package seating. The idea behind it is, not just now, but in six months' time, when you come to sit on the car, you're not going to get sagging seats in any shape or form. Again, a nice wee extra. As well as that, you'll find the new display face on the car. Again, it's nice and easy to get to, so you're not stretching like maybe other competitors' cars that you do to, where you're always finding you're stretching over here or stretching down there for gadgets. Again, it's nice and simple. What we'll do, if you'd like to come this way, I'll get the car and we'll go out for a test drive now. How does that look? Well, Joe, you've seen it back and you were nothing if not enthusiastic. <laughs> Do you think you did justice to the model? Uh, there's a few things I missed out, as I said to begin with. Uh, for example, holding the key, and I missed out the central locking. 
with the torch key, which is available as an option pack with electric front windows and a tailgate boot release, which is a good thing to have on the car. Uh, the other th couple of things I missed were the ref counter with a trip recorder and also the availability of options with the anti-lock braking system as well. And the last thing was the stereo radio cassette with four speakers as well. Missed that as well. But apart from that, I was, I was happy with everything else that I did. This is Ford's new Fiesta gear, the luxury derivative of the new Fiesta. Many standard features carried over from the previous model. The grey paint below the body side moulding for that protection. The unique wheel covers, only available in that style on the Fiesta gear. Standard features, tinted glass, sunroof, remote control door mirrors, everything you would expect from the luxury derivative. New to the Fiesta for this, uh, for this model, height adjustable front seat belts, both driver and passenger side. Back seat passengers aren't forgotten. Nets on the back seat, storing those maps, oddments, little bits and pieces that you need. Moving round the car, you can see from the driver's seat, the trim is up to the high standard of gear that you would expect. The new moulded seats are covered with the astral cloth trim. You've got the plush carpeting and every conceivable instrument you would wish. If you move inside, you can see you have the full complement of instruments on the dashboard. Heated with front screen, which is an option on this car. Rear screen, rear fog lights. Good quality sound system. Centre console, your electric windows. Tailgate release. And on this model, the selector for the automatic transmission. That's now an option on the 1.4 litre car. It's also available in a 1.1 five speed. Columns, the same as the rest of the range. So, there you have it, the new Fiesta gear. Luxury, economy, and good looks. How about a test drive? Well, Nigel, you've seen the action replay of your performance. How do you think you did with respect to the car? The main things that I think I missed out on the car was the course that something this standard comes with central door locking as standard. Um, apart from that, I think most of the features were covered. The obvious things that run right throughout the range, like the comfort of the seats, the fact that they last well, the ease of access, um, both front and rear doors, is far improved over the previous model, but that's the same throughout the range. Um, apart from that, I think most points were covered. But had you been presenting to what we might call a traditional gear customer, gear Fiesta customer, would you have made more of the doors and the seats, do you think? I think we would have done. Um, your gear customer is tending to look for luxury, comfort, that extra bit, something over and above the run of the mill car. And then there's the S. The new Fiesta S comes in a three-door version with a new 1600 engine. That means more power and better performance. In fact, the new Fiesta 1600S now delivers 90 PS and has increased its overall top speed by 6 miles an hour, now reaching 108, and it takes only 9.3 seconds from 0 to 60. In line with this, the new Fiesta S now has an uprated front sport suspension, an anti-roll bar and ventilated front discs, which m makes for safer road handling, better driving. And the new Fiesta S looks great. It's now the only Fiesta in the range to have these spotlights and the new white tri-coat wheel covers really pick out the white insert in the body side mouldings. And together with the new black tailgate spoiler makes the new Fiesta S unique in appearance. And inside I really think you'll see a difference. New moulded front sport seats have been covered in a completely new fabric called Thirsk and it's good to see front adjustable padded head restraints fitted as standard on the Fiesta S. But what's more important is they're comfortable, and that's so important in a car with sport suspension. The dash has been completely changed, with the controls closer to hand. 
I particularly like the windscreen wipers, which have a fixed interval, intermittent and two-speed setting on the right-hand column. So important in a country with a climate like ours. There's a new front sport steering wheel, new twin remote control door mirrors, and the rev counter and radio cassette are still fitted as standard, although the radio cassette now has a roof-mounted aerial for better reception. This particular S has an optional sunroof and the option pack of central locking, electric front windows and tailgate release. These controls are housed in the centre console, which also gives more room for storage. In fact, that's a great advantage about the new Fiesta, just how much more storage space there is. And the new Fiesta S now has a 60-40 split seat, which means not only can you carry larger loads, but more awkward shapes like golfs or skis, and still have somebody sitting in the back. All in all, the new Fiesta S is a fast, sporty car, which is still good in fuel economy and looks great. I think you'll like it. You've seen it played back. How do you think you did? I think I did OK. I mentioned most things, although I should have mentioned the anti-locking brakes on the S, because it's a sports car and that's relevant. I mean, I drive an XR2 myself. And I know when it becomes available, I'd certainly love to have them. It's a great advantage. This is the new Fiesta XR2i. Doesn't she look a beauty? Ford call this car the high-profile image model. There's no fear of this being called a sheeping wool's clothing. Just one look under the bonnet here will prove that to you. Just take a look at this beautiful power unit. This is a new 1600 fuel injected engine controlled by the EQ4 management system. This delivers an incredible 110 PS and accelerates the car to 60 within nine seconds and also takes it on to an incredible 119 miles per hour for top speed. As we're around the front, if you look at the full length bumpers here, which are actually now body painted, you'll see we've got built in driving lamps and also built in fog lamps. Again, just improves the safety as you're driving along at night. Let's just move around the side now. New style alloy, alloy wheels, which are an option. Also staying down here, anti-lock brakes. They're an option as well. Of course, that'll improve your safety while driving during bad weather. Up to the screen. A slight difference here. This one actually features the optional heated front screen. Again, very useful in that nasty winter weather we get. As we look at the size of the car, we see we've got the wheel arch extensions and the full body kit all the way around, again body coloured. Moving around the back, rear bumpers, body coloured again, full length. The image from behind is incredible. Just imagine sitting behind that car watching it drive along the road. I'm sure you'd want to buy one. As we move around to this side, and let's have a look inside. A lot of interesting new features here. The seats, as the rest of the range, the new one-piece moulded seats. But in this model, of course, sports seats. Sit inside, incredible feeling. Nice and firm, good support. Put the key in ignition. Electric front windows, now standard. Sunroof, standard. Just have to close the door. Key in the lock. Central door locking, standard again. No worries about, have I left the tailgate open. All in all, an excellent car. How about a test drive? Well, Andrew, you got the flagship car of the range. How do you think you handled it? All in all, not too badly, I think. It's, uh, it's a car very easy to get a bit excited about, and mm. I think I just missed one or two of the features of it. Didn't quite do it full justice. Right, what if you had another chance to do it, would you have put in that you didn't? Well, there was minor things like, well, important things like the tinted glass, uh, tailgate release as well, obviously, which is added to it now. That's also, a remote release? That's right, which is operated from the inside. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's a sport suspension, which is very important on this car. So it is operated and it, it does help the car considerably. Would you have drawn the customer's attention to those little things on the inside, in the carpets and on the gear knob, for instance. Is that the sort of thing, or would you expect him to see that for himself? No, I'd show him those as well, because, I mean, the gear knob now does have the blue lettering on it to explain everything. And also the blue striping on the carpet, that's a very nice touch with the XR2i on it. 
does look very good. Well, that must have given you something to think about. I think they did amazingly well, and the amount of information they got over was absolutely staggering to my mind. But let's leave the last words with our participants. What do they think it's going to be like actually selling New Fiesta when it gets into the showrooms? It's like all the other Fords before it. It's going to sell itself. It's a good car. It does what it was designed to do very well. It's more spacious. It's smoother, more comfortable than the outgoing model. And uh, it's going to be easy. We've, we've got a winner. I think they're going to sell very well because Ford have looked at all the com competition and have taken all the points, the strong points from the competition, rolled it all into the Fiesta to make it. It's a very, very good car. And as long as us, the salesmen, will put the package together right and point the features out properly, then we're going to have no problem selling it. Well, I think obviously um, you need to know all about it. Um, you've got to be able to know what its selling points are. Um, there's a lot of interest already generated, um, and I think the customer's going to come into the show and expecting someone to know all about it. We're not going to have any problem selling the car, as long as we do know what we're talking about. Knowledge about the car helps sell them. Um, the fact you know what all the features are on the car, and you know what the competition is lacking relative to the particular model you're selling. Apart from that, they're a good car, a very good car. They'll sell well. It's going to be fairly easy to sell, uh, the way it's been laid with the current Fiesta model, which is a very popular car, and a good car. Um, it's been improved all around, uh, internally and outside, and I think that, uh, providing you've got the right presentation from the sales, uh, it, it will help sell itself. Well, I think it's a great car, and it just needs a good presentation, uh, and coupled with a test drive, I think it's a winner. With the XR2i, I think because of the looks of the car and the type of people who buy it, I think it can almost sell itself. It's an excellent car. With the rest of the range, I mean, it is a very good range, but I think it is important to have the product knowledge to make sure you get the benefits over to the customers. I'm looking forward to it very much, I must admit. We've now got a very strong range. It's three and five door. There's some exciting new options, and I feel very confident that we can go into at least 1995 of the super products. <laughs>